For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. Over the years, I've talked to a lot of Chess Base users via phone, email, face to face at tournaments, you name it. And once in a very great while, you run across someone. There's this small but very vocal minority of people that believe that when you do searches in chess base, the more material that you put into the search mask, which I will show you now, we've been looking at it in all these videos right along, the more blanks you fill in, the more material you ought to get back, the more games you ought to see as a return. And the problem is, that is incorrect. That's not the way that it actually works. It's something that I call the law of diminishing returns. Uh, basically, the more material you put into the search mask, the fewer games that you will see as a result of your search within Chess Base 11. I'm going to demonstrate it for you right here. Basically, the more things you put in, the fewer games you get back, and I'll prove it to you right now. We'll begin by looking for the games of Anatoly Karpov, who was world champion from the mid-1970s to the mid-1980s. So we'll type in K-A-R-P-O-V. Over here, we don't want to just put an A, because I know from experience you wind up with some games from a fellow named Alexander Karpov. So we're going to put A-N-A-T, so we get just Anatoly Karpov's games, and we'll click OK. And the search happens pretty quick. It's done. Here's all the games right here, and when we scroll to the bottom of the list, what we find is there are 3,724 games played by Anatoly Karpov in Mega Database. 2011. All right, remember that number, 3,724 games. Now we're going to do another search. We're going to add another criteria to the search mask. Criterion, if you want to be picky about it. We're going to uncheck ignore colors. What that will do now is give us Anatoly Karpov's games as white only. It will eliminate his black games from the search. We'll click OK. The search is done. By the way, the progress bar for searches are down, it's down here in the lower right hand corner, right underneath the bug that you see with USCFSales.com on your screen. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the list, see how many games we have. 2,087 games. Notice that when we did a search for all of his games, we got 3,724. When we just look for games as white, we get 2,087 games. So we have fewer games because we narrowed down the search by adding another criterion to the search mask. Let's narrow it down even more. Search. Of course, we have Anatoly Karpov as white. Let's just look for white wins. We'll go down here to result and pick 1-0. Oh, that means white wins. We'll click OK. The search is done. Let's scroll to the bottom of the list and see how many games we have now. 1,077 games. So we started out with all of his games, 3,724 games. Just his games as white, 2,087. Just his wins as white, 1,077 games. We'll narrow it down some more. Right click, search. We're going to narrow it down to an opening. We're going to pick the Roy Lopez. We'll type C60 in the first ECO blank. And then we'll just change that E to a C. C60 to C99 is the Roy Lopez in the Encyclopedia of Chess Openings, ECO codes. Click OK. Wait a moment or two. Scroll to the bottom. And we've knocked it down to 78 games. So from all of Karpov's games as white, 3,724, when we add a bunch of criteria where we want Karpov's white wins as white in the Roy Lopez, we get 78 games. Let's try one more thing. We'll add one more criteria to our search. Search. We'll go to material. And this time, what we want is Karpov's games in the Roy Lopez, where he wins as white, in which both players have one or two rooks and one to eight pawns. What we're looking for is pure rook and pawn endings. Adding that as a criteria, we click OK. We wind up with six games. There are six games in the database in which Anatoly Karpov, playing as the white player, wins in the Roy Lopez in pure rook and pawn endings. Six games. So when you're looking for just Karpov's games, 3,724. But by the time you start adding 
Every time you add something to the surge mask, you notice we got fewer games until finally we get to this point where we have six games out of that original 3,724. As I said, I call it the law of diminishing returns. I've written about it a few times over the years in chess-based articles that I've done for different people. I might have even done a video on this once before if I, if I remember properly. But once again, it never hurts to demonstrate this. The more things that you put into a search, the more blanks and fields that you fill out in the search mask, the fewer games you get back because you're asking for more and more specific information. So it doesn't work the way some people think that it does. You don't put a whole bunch of things in the search mask where you fill in all the blanks and get a whole ton of games. The more things you fill in, the fewer games you get back. So be aware of that and don't be surprised when it happens. When you put in something as specific as Karpov's White Winds and the Roy Lopez and Pure Rook and Pawn endings, don't be shocked when you only get that half dozen games. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.